post credit scenes are all the rage these days, but before those became popular, some movies included jokes or hidden references within the actual credits themselves. Here are some of our favorites from new and old movies alike. Frozen Boogers Being a Disney hero is hungry work. Luckily, Kristoff and Frozen found the perfect snack to fortify him, his own boogers. What if you hate the way he picks his nose? Picks his nose? And eats it. Excuse me, sir, he is a prince. All men do it. Ew. Even Disney thought that was a bit gross, though, adding this disclaimer to the credits. The views and opinions expressed by Kristoff in this film that all men eat their own boogers are solely his and do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of the Walt Disney Company or the filmmakers. Do no harm. When a movie involves any kinds of animals or creatures, it's always important for the filmmakers to ensure the critters' safety, even if those animals are CGI. Pay close attention to the credits in Guardians of the Galaxy, and you'll see confirmation that no raccoons or tree creatures were in any way harmed during the production of the film. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we learn that no dragons were harmed in the making of this movie. And Mr. Popper's penguins assures us that no penguins were harmed, but Jim Carrey, on the other hand, was bitten mercilessly. But he had it coming. No argument here. Meanwhile, the naked gun flicks apparently reveled in animal cruelty, claiming in the credits that some entire species went extinct during principal photography. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Coffee shop. When the Supreme Court ruled that corporations are people, they based their decision on Pulp Fiction. Okay, that's not true, but it could have been. Why? During the robbery scene, the restaurant manager's dialogue was so obscured by screaming and swearing that all he could get out was this. I am not a hero, I'm just a coffee shop. So in the credits, Quentin Tarantino decides to simply name him Coffee Shop. Cozy in the Closet. The end credits of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban gives viewers a long look at the infamous Marauder's Map, which shows the layout of Hogwarts and all the folks sneaking around its hallways and rooms. For a moment during the credits, however, we see two pairs of feet in the corner of the screen that don't really sneak so much as they seem like they might be knocking boots. Who do you think it might be? Our money is on Professor McGonagall and Professor Flitwick. Yikes. Hello, Hanzo. Director J.J. Abrams doesn't shy away from throwing fun Easter eggs into his projects. Usually, it's just Greg Grunberg. But during the credits of 2006's Mission Impossible 3, the filmmakers give a special thanks to the Hanzo Foundation. Of course, true fans will recognize the Hanzo Foundation as the mysterious group that had a hand in all the crazy island shenanigans on Abrams' television project Lost. Maybe Jack and the rest of the gang got stranded all because of that damn rabbit's foot. What is your rabbit's foot? You have 15 seconds to comply. Most movies contain a warning that the film is protected under copyright laws in the United States, followed by some legal mumbo-jumbo. It's the same disclaimer every time, except in the case of RoboCop. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. At the end of the Paul Verhoeven film, the disclaimer reads, Unauthorized duplication, distribution, or exhibition may result in civil liability and criminal prosecution by enforcement droids. In other words, pirate RoboCop, and you may get a visit from Ed209. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know which movies you think should have made the list.